At least five passengers have been confirmed killed and three others critically injured after bandits armed with sophisticated weapons opened fire on a vehicle passing along Yantumaki Dantmusa Road in Kutsina State. The state police spokesman Gambo Isa confirmed the incident to newsmen. Damusa local government area is one of the most vulnerable areas in Katsina, sharing boundaries with the dreaded Rugu Forest and areas like Safana, Kankara and other communities in Zamfara State where bandits are reportedly still very active. Well, joining us now is former assistant director of the Department of State Services, Dennis Amakri. Mr. Amakri, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Well, the Great. last time you were here, you agreed to a submission that the violence being witnessed in the north was just a tip of the iceberg. Now, at least 103 persons have been killed in the last one week. That's an increase of over 900 percent when compared to the previous week. Mr. Macri, we're not even at war. Uh, well, um, I think we are at war. We are at war. Internationally, the index is very clear. Any kind of conflict that had 1,000 or more people dying is declared as war. You know, so we are at war. There are too many people dying in Nigeria. And then, of course, uh, apparently we are not um, uh, addressing this thing properly whereby, you know, the last time you interviewed, uh, I was on this platform with you, we talked about it, and uh, it's not gone away because uh, we've not been addressing it properly, the way it should be addressed. How should, it, more... be, how should it be addressed? It's well, gone on you know, one time too many. It's just so... Yeah. How should it be yeah. addressed? You know, we are, we are not basically pursuing this thing systematically. We are more episodic, you know, or we react in our response. Oh, uh, bandits have uh, uh, kidnapped some people, then we mobilize people and send to there, to that place. Oh, uh, bandits have attacked a train in uh, Mapuja, uh, Kaduna uh, way, and then uh, the Inspector General will send some people down there. That is, you know, fire brigade, so to say. You know, uh, we have to pursue this thing systematically. And then systematically means we go back to the drawing board, we plan properly, and then, of course, know the strength of uh, the enemy that we are dealing with. Because we are still looking at these uh, uh, people as bandits, they have foreign support. And this support has made them so strong, they are not scared of our military. They are busy attacking military installation, uh, ambushing military convoys, even governor's convoys. So I think we have to go back to the drawing board and re-strategize. Okay, well, just today there are reports of five people being killed um, as bandits open fire on a vehicle in Katsina. And it's coming at a time, it's coming at a time, Mr. Macri, when the Secretary of the Federal Government says that the country uh, security situation has improved. Are they so blinded to the reality on ground or one doesn't know how else to describe this? I, I think we're looking at different statistics. We're looking at different statistics. Yes, there are some gains that uh, the military and security forces have achieved. There are gains, definitely. But also, there are some that affect the ordinary man. And that is where we should be looking at, really. Because uh, when you look at it, um, children are not in school. Like in Kaduna State, all the schools are closed down. So um, the children are still at school. And the parents will be feeling, oh, uh, the situation is still very bad if you are not in school, you know. But I know that uh, the security agencies are doing the best they could, but there is more that the government need to do for these security agencies. You said they are doing the best that they could. The yes. best is not enough. What should be added to this best? to get the, the best result, not, because result is the name of the game. People are being killed. Yes, 
Yeah, result is the name of the game. And then the best is not enough in the sense that we are still using an old wine bag for new wine. Uh, indirectly, what is going on here is this. Our population in the security agencies is not enough. Like we're saying it, you know, we are in a state of war. And now the police had approved only 10,000 policemen a year to be recruited into the police. 10,000 for the next three years. Right now, their number is around 350 or 400,000. The military is not up to 300,000. Army, Air Force, Navy. They are not up to 300,000. So where, you know, when you are, like there is a fire and a big fire that is burning a house and then you tell people to, instead of even buckets of water, tell them to carry a corpse and carry water and pour at the fire and see if it will, if it will put out the fire. So why are they not recruiting down. enough? Funding? We are not recruited enough. We are not. Consider our population and our present situation, which is a war situation. So why are, are they not, not recruiting enough? enough? Why are they not I recruiting enough? I don't know. That is what the policymakers have to come up with. Well, the issue because of funding I'm has not. come up. Uh, the Governor's Forum is saying that uh, they provide more than the federal government. That's for police. Yeah. They, yeah, they actually provide more for the police. But the police, like I said, the police is about, let's say 400,000 people for 37, uh, 36 states. Think of the local government, 774 state, uh, local governments. So how do you distribute this and then make them so effective in dealing with the problem we have at hand? So there is need for the police to massively recruit you have the military to massively recruit. And then, of course, get the security agencies like the DSS and other agencies to massively recruit. Our borders are porous, but the number of custom and immigration officers cannot cover those borders. So we know where the problem is, and we need to attack it frontally. Will there ever be light at this ever dark tunnel in this country? Definitely, there will be light at the uh, end of the tunnel. I'm very optimistic. Uh, we just need to do the right thing. And then, of course, we will overcome this. We overcome a civil war. So why can't we overcome a banditry that is being disturbing us? So let's we keep up alive, it. you say. Mr. Dennis Amakri, thank you so much for your time. Mr. Dennis Amakri is former assistant director of the Department of State Services. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.